look at all this new security. How's a guy supposed to break out of here? Don't be a stranger. He surrendered almost without a fight. I don't like it. At least he's back where he belongs. Get up! I set a trap, and you sprang it gloriously! Now let's get this party started! <laughs> There's no escape, Joker. I don't want to escape. I'm having way too much fun. It's over, Joker. Over? Why, my dear delusional Dark Knight. Hasn't even begun. <laughs> I need details, Captain. Tell me everything about him. This will help you. Remember. We thought we had him trapped. But he was waiting for us. Target in sight, Dino One. Extraordinary, isn't he?
you got my invitation. Just you and me. Come on! So fast, Deathstroke. He's my kill. A body? No. And next time, keep your other assassins out of my way. You had your shot, Deathstroke. But you're not the only assassin in town. And the night is young. Peggy 16. The last will and testament of the deceased, Thomas Wayne. In the event of my death, I hereby declare that all my worldly possessions pass to my son, Bruce Wayne. Bruce, I ask that you honor the Wayne family legacy and commit yourself to the improvement of Gotham City, its institutions, and its citizens. Please, be strong. You are young, but destined for great things. Make the most of your opportunities. Use them to give back to a city that has given us so much. To change the lives of millions of people. Do not be frivolous with this wealth. Please do not waste it all on fast cars 
and outrageous clothes, and the pursuit of a destructive lifestyle. Invest in Gotham. Treat its people like family. Watch over them and use this money to safeguard them from forces beyond their control. My deepest regret is I will not see you grow into the good man I know you will become. And finally, my son, I ask that you never abandon this city to fate. lived through dark days, and no doubt there are more to come. But it is the good and great men who stand up for Gotham when others turn and run. In death, I will love you forever. Your father, Thomas. Peggy 18. How do you feel when you put on that mask? Are you hiding from the world? Or do you want the world to hide away from you? Maybe you feel invincible. More than just a man. Or maybe you're just like me. You see that life is nothing but a sick joke, and so you choose a face to match. But what happens when we become what we pretend to be? When illusion becomes the new reality? Does it even matter? After all, if you find a mask that fits, you never need to take it off. <laughs> In breaking news, we've received reports of an explosion somewhere north of the city. We're still waiting for the police to confirm if there are any victims. This story is evolving rapidly. Please bear with us. We heard this really loud boom. There was smoke everywhere. Emergency services have confirmed that they've discovered a body buried in the wreckage. We're still waiting for further details. Emergency vehicles are... It appears that a large portion of the building has actually collapsed. The international news, an explosion rocked Gotham City earlier today. We are now able to confirm that billionaire philanthropist Bruce Wayne is... If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black.
This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. We both know it won't take long for Gotham's criminals to realize the Batman is gone. And you can't count on the GCPD. They haven't trusted us since Jim died. Gotham will need its protectors more than ever. I'm leaving you the Belfry as a base of operations. Some of the technology is outdated, but it has the gear you need and all of my files. You've always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. Strikes you dead. 